Hi, I'm Ryan Van from SportBikeDrackGear.com. Today we're going to do a video overview of the 2012-13 Arctiva Men's Snowmobile Glove Lineup. This isn't a good, better, best because every one of these gloves is built for a different purpose. And we think it's key that you choose the right glove for your application because the wrong pair of gloves can make for a miserable ride. And let's be realistic too, with snowmobiling, it's so weather dependent, you know, it's not like a motorcycle, you've got 30, 40 weekends a year to go ride this thing, right? Nah, if one ride happens to turn out bad, no big deal. Oh, with snowmobiling, it's very important that every one of the weekends is as enjoyable as possible, and right club selection is critical. Let's start off with the RR Short Club. This was meant to be used at temperatures 30 degrees and over, realistically, or for disciplines of racing where, you know what, you're only on track for a very short period of time. The speeds, you know, you don't have these, these high speeds with all the wind chill. So this is going to work well for you. When I used to snow cross race, I wore gloves like this. They work great because they gave a ton of feel in the palm. No insulation in this area, so you get a lot of bar feel. There is some insulation here in the back of the hand. No waterproofing, short cuff glove. So 30 and over, racing or really, really warm temperatures. Next up, we have the RR Long Glove. Okay, this one is waterproof and windproof. It does offer a Hora liner, okay? Little bit of insulation, really not a ton. This is gonna be still, in my opinion, best used conditions, probably pretty darn close to 20s, upper 20s and over. That's going to be my opinion with that, especially if, if you know that you have a hard time with your hands getting cold. If you're one of those folks where your internal thermostat is broken and you're always on high and you're always hot, this could be a good option for you because it does have the waterproofing and the windproofing. Nice full cup goes over the sleeve of your jacket so you get that wind protection. So that could be a good option for you. Now we get into the ones that are going to be most commonly used for trail riding and, and touring, okay, the kind of glove you can wear and be out there all day. Comp 7. This is an insulated glove that uses the Hippora windproof, waterproof liner, so you get the windproofing, the waterproofing. A couple of key features with this, right, one is each one of these insulated gloves I'm going to show you here at the end has a zip open pocket here in the back of the hand that will accept the commonly found air activated heat packs. You open the zipper, you put it in there, you zip it closed, you put the glove on, the back of your hand is going to be nice and warm. Sled's going to have hand warmers, right? The newer stuff, the hand warmers are phenomenal, sometimes too good. So what's going to get cold is the back of the hand. That is such a cool thing. These things are commonly found in pretty much every gas station up north in the winter time. Super easy to do and it's just really going to help you enjoy that day. Reflectives here, you know, so when you're stopping, you raise your hand. The rider behind you is going to see that. You got a reflective here, back of the knuckle, up here in the gauntlet. Visor, lens wipe right here, built into the left side of the glove. They have rolled the tips of the fingers and the thumb. There's a reason for that. It works better with the insulation. You get a more consistent insulation fill. You don't have that seam there at the tip. They're just trying, because you're a lot of the machines now, the short handlebars, you know, at the short windshields and the high handlebars, your hands are out in the wind. This is going to work to keep them comfortable and warm longer. Got some knuckle protectors here, right? TPR logo back of the hand, adjustment here at the cuff, and then we have for the top of the gauntlet a shot cord style adjuster right there as well. Very nice glove. I'd like to point out too the Cordura motion panel right here. So when you're on the machine, you're riding aggressively. It's going to be a nice choice. It's going to keep you warm. This is going to work. This is going to be appropriate for pretty much every temperature. Okay. Last up is going to be the big dog. This is the mechanized glove. We've got a very aggressive, moldable, comfortable knuckle protector. Right. We've still got those rolled fingers. Works better with the insulation. Reflectives here on the fingers. Visor wipe. We retain that cool pocket here to put that hand warmer in. We've got the double adjustment system here, right? Up here at the wrist, up here at the cuff. Come to the back of the hand. 
Cordura right here. PVC. This is kind of grippy too on both these gloves. This is kind of grippy. It's going to be nice when you're in contact with the bars. It just helps keep you on the machine. It reduces the amount of effort you have to put into your grip. The more your arms pump up and circulation is cut off, right, the colder your hands get too. And by having this grippy layer, you don't have to squeeze as hard. It's going to help keep your hands warmer at the end of the day. These gloves also offer a really trick removable insulation system. These are going to be good down to whatever. And they're also going to be pretty solid in the warmer conditions because what you can do is tailor the insulation of this glove. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the removable insulated layer right here. Okay? The glove still has a solid measure of insulation even with that removed. With this removed, you've got a little bit less insulation than what I find here in the Comp 7. Okay. With this installed, you have more insulation than you have in the Comp 7. Now the really trick part is this. The easiest way to put the liner back in the glove, of course, is slide the liner on, like so. Slide your hand in, wiggle your fingers, get it in there. But now, here comes the really cool trick part. You are able to leave the liner in the glove, okay, and have it only covering the back of your hand. What you're going to do is you're going to go in here, you're going to release the Velcro for the liner towards the inside of the glove, towards the palm of the glove, okay? So you're leaving the liner all on the back side of your hand, and then go ahead and slide your hand down in. They're designed to work this way. Slide your hand down in, leaving the liner between the outer portion of the glove and the top of your hand. Remember, you've got your handlebar warmers here, so it's going to keep the fingers and the palm warm, and now you just increase the level of insulation over the fingers, the back of the hand, and the thumb. This glove sells for a little bit more than this one, but all this adjustability, I think, makes it a phenomenal choice because you can really decide exactly how warm you want it, how much feel you want. If you just want to remove the liner, it's a warmer day, right? You can pull this, put it in the coat of your jacket, no worries whatsoever. Awesome gloves, they all run true to size. You're a large, order a large, you're going to get a great fit. And remember too, with a glove like this, you don't need some super skin tight, constricting fit. That'll cut off blood supply to your fingers, you lose some circulation, they get colder faster, it makes for a miserable ride. So if you're going to err, err towards being just a little bit to the big side, and we think that's going to serve you better. I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackHere.com. This is the winner of 2012-2013 Artiva Men's Snowmobile Glove Lineup.